A couple of days ago, I received my Nordic Thing in one IoT prototyping platform from iotcreators.com. IoT Creators is part of Deutsche Telekom and they are providing solutions to the customers in the areas of Internet of Things and machine to machine communication. For more information, please visit their website. In this cute little package, we have our Thing in one device and the SIM card from IoT Creators. You can check whether you can use this SIM card in your country from their current roaming partner list link, which I provided in the video description. I'd like to thank IoT Creators team for the Thing in one and I will now jump right into describing you how you can configure this device with the serial LT modem software and use it on a narrowband IoT network. I will be following the documentation from the iotcreators.com website. Here you can see information about our device, Thingy91, the chips that it uses. The first chip that it uses is NRF9160, which is handling the LT and narrowband IoT part. You can see links to the documentation and also where you can get the device. Here you can see we have 80 commands and data sheets. I suggest that you download these. You can see that I already downloaded the 80 commands document. I will be referring to this document in this video as well. And this is the product specification document. You can download it as well. So this is our device. And you can see the SIM slot, the power switch, and also the micro USB cable that we are going to connect in order to program the device. And the things that we are going to do is listed in this documentation website. First, we are going to install NRF Connect platform, and we are going to download the file first. And once it's downloaded, we will be installing it by double clicking on it. And it's going to suggest to install the Sager section as well. So you can continue with this one as well. During the installation, I did not update the related parts about the MPLAB XID, the ID that I use for programming PIC microcontrollers. You can see that we will be using LT Link Monitor and Programmer. They seem to be installed here, but the reason for that is I had already installed them. Probably you are going to click on that install button for those, and then you will be able to open them. So first we are going to update the firmware for the modem and this is the link for that. And we are going to be downloading the latest version, the zip file. Once it's downloaded, we will be extracting it. We are also following the instructions from the website. As you can see, we can extract the file in this location. We did this step already. So there will be two things that we are going to do, modem firmware update and application firmware update. First, let's do the modem upgrade. Now we are linked to the Nordic Semi website. First, we are going to open and launch NRF Connect Programmer. So this is the platform that we are going to use for the modem firmware upgrade. And let's open our Thingy91 device in order to connect it to our laptop. Even though we connected it, we don't see the device because there is a specific procedure that you can see on step three. We are going to push the switch three. And in the meantime, we are going to turn on the device. So that's what I'm doing right now. So once you do this, you'll see that 
the laptop is going to identify it as well as a USB drive. If you minimize this, you can release the switch immediately after that. Now you can see the Nordic Thingy 91 device from the list and we selected it. And if we continue to the next steps, we are going to update our modem with the zip file in our folder. Actually, the instructions are not directly matching with this new version of the programmer. So you can see it already. Here we selected the zip file for our modem firmware. And then we are going to click on write. It says that this zip file is going to be uploaded. It says some instructions and we click on write. I'm going to skip this one. You see that it took 170 seconds, about three minutes to load this file. Now we are going to continue with programming applications again through USB. We are going to require the NRF Connect programmer. It's selected here, but I'm going to turn off the device, disconnect it, and I'm going to connect it again to the laptop. And at this time, I'm going to turn on the device by pressing the switch three at the same time, and it's detected by the laptop. Let's minimize these. And now I will be able to select my device in the programmer. I selected Thingy91. Now I'm going to select the hex file to be uploaded to the device. But we won't be choosing this hex file that is listed in devzone.nordicsemi.com because this is the asset tracker, but that's not our file. If we go back to IoT Creators document, you see that we will select the serial LT modem. And once we select it, I'm going to again click on write to upload the hex file to the device. And now it's uploaded in about a minute. Since we updated both the modem firmware and also the application firmware, we can continue. We are going to choose the LTE link monitor. We are going to click and open it. Now I'm going to disconnect my device, turn it off and on, and it's going to be detected by my laptop. Now I can choose it from select device, thing in 91. And I'm going to continue to send the comments advised in this document. I sent an AT command, I received the OK response. Then I send this command, which makes the device search only narrowband IoT networks. And now I'm going to force my device to attach to one of these operators here in my country, Turkey. I'm going to choose Vodafone Turkey. So I copy this command for Telekom Deutschland. I paste it here. I change the operator number to Vodafone Turkey 28602. I can drag and drop it to any button for quick access. I send it and I get the OK response. Then I enable the modem by AT plus C1 is equal to one. At some point of time, I get some reception and it says no suitable cells in tracking area. This is because my SIM card doesn't have roaming here in Turkey. The SIM card provided by iotcreators.com. The agreement is about to be finished. So you can check this CREC comment in the NRF9180 comment document. We can see that it's searching for network, not registered. It's currently trying to attach or search an operator to register to. As I said, this is because the SIM card that we are using doesn't have roaming agreement here in Turkey. So I'm going to be waiting for the roaming to be finished and I'm going to continue this video after that.